We are group two from Woodlane Village, walking on Blackwater. This is our presentation part two. We looked at the past 18 months. Now we must ask ourselves, what does this mean for the next 18 months? It is clear that the Blackwater crisis requires immediate emergency intervention. Our approach during our field studies was largely based on Hamdi's framework. Following his now, soon and later, we explore tangible ideas. Hamdi believes that it is imperative that the community are in an empowered position and that they take the lead in any proposed interventions concerning the area in which they live, collaborating to create catalyst projects that will ultimately create meaningful change. This will promote successful integration into the community at large and its overall success. As architects, we need to take a step back from the authoritative role. In short, there are three proposed actions which the community leaders suggested. Improved water access, drainage and waste management. Implementing Humdi. Proposed spatial interventions could include piping starting at the tanks to create an improved water system, the tanks getting filled twice daily, new pipes for septic tanks and the introduction of composting systems, and possible introduction of more taps and permanent drainage for black water. The strongest suggestion from the community leaders was a consistent drainage system introduced throughout the settlements. As a long-term action plan, now there needs to be information sharing guided by community leaders on Blackwater risks and possible establishment of a Water Committee leadership program. The community can familiarize themselves with appropriate, affordable, low technology precedents to inspire temporary intervention and mobilization. With these steps in place, there should be less pressure on the system as a whole, while more permanent interventions are looked into. This brings us to sooner and later. The community can receive assistance from outside institutions such as the government on the in-situ upgrade of systems that will oversee proper infrastructure services become somewhat more tangible through these incremental stages. The UUC has established a relationship with the community from the outset, which provides a platform for knowledge exchange, thus empowering community leaders to educate the residents of Woodlane Village on the results of the Blackwater testing and the implications thereof. A study in Deepslut informal settlement introduced sustainable drainage systems to manage surface water. SUDS interventions improve surface runoff quality and alleviate standing surface water. An effective SUDS intervention reduces many pollutants and spread of waterborne illnesses associated with poor sanitation. The Maraleta Park Integration Project in 2020 linked the above drainage system as a potential community action plan in Woodlane Village, indicating use of the natural slope of the site to remove surface stormwater from the streets. This will assist with filtering the grey water back to the water table. For this to be a future community action plan, it would need to be a community-initiated project and display confidence in building methods. Otherwise, these in-situ upgrades could risk failure. Through the process of collaboration and rigorous data collection and analysis, we can see that black water in Woodlane Village is a serious concern. Through making this research available, we are convinced that intervention is possible and the emerging voices of Woodlane Village will be heard.